All right, man. So we are here at Caltech with my man Chris, and we got here the brand new. It's a sub 2000 Gen 3, right? Yep. Correct. And this uh, is, well, I know you guys revealed it recently. Is mm -hmm. this, is it not, but now it's out, right? Was the day yep, the day? We started shipping them January 1st. January 1st, okay. Mm -hmm. So local dealers, something like that, maybe out there. And uh, I guess they've probably seen it from this, the imagery, but I like to, I guess, demonstrate some of the differences from the Gen 2 to the Gen 3. I know one is that twist mechanism yep. that we have an optic. Previously, you could not have that there. No, you right? could not. So, you want you could do the honors and let him. All right. So, like he said, a lot of you are familiar with the Gen 2 that we had, but Gen 3 has a lot of the stuff that you wanted fixed. We fix. So we listen, we learn, and we do. So, as you can see, pull down on the trigger guard just like you used to. One of the cool things, as he was saying, you can rotate now. Locks it in the M lock slot. Now you got it with optics, can. You see with a foregrip and flashlight on there, ready to rock, goes in your pack. Push in on the buffer in the back, pops it right up. Right back in battery, good to go. Block mags, as the good Lord intended. We will be coming out with our multi-mag variant later in the year, so you can do Smith & Wesson, Beretta, CZ, Canix, yeah. SIG, any of those mags. Has a lot of the same accessories and functions you're used to. Half 28 threaded barrel, full length pick rail on top, M-lock slots. We molded in a shell deflector. And one of the nicest things is we upgraded the aluminum trigger and an upgraded spring kit from the factory. So now you're getting a way better trigger from the factory than you ever had before. Gotcha. Oversized charging handle, lightened operating system, so easier to operate for women and children if you're taking the family out or just going out to shoot. Also has um, a buffer in the back now as well, so a little bit less recoil. I know it's only nine mil, but shit anything else. I, I shoot them in competition, so. Yeah. And, and the three position adjustable stock. And uh, you changed also the, I think you maybe mentioned the handguard is slightly different. Yep, a little bit longer on there. Yeah. Go to the front, the sights on it. And uh, so you can get out there, get a lot better grab on it and everything yeah. else whenever you're shooting. So. I know the Gen 1 had no M lock, right? The Gen no 2 had some M lock. And mm -hmm. is there more or? There's a little bit more. A little more slots, right? Okay. Lo slightly longer handguard without okay. having the sights on there. Okay, cool, cool. And what is the MSRP on this one? Just under 500 at 495. Okay. And it's called the uh, that mechanism, is it, is it the switchback or what was it called? That well, we just call it like a, a cam system or the fold and twist. Fold and twist, <laughs> my bad, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Bad. Yeah. And uh, maybe I'm asking too much here, but is it, I, I've seen the comments, 10 millimeter, is that? Is that? <laughs> uh, we got some new calibers coming out, nothing definitive nothing, yet. Okay, but it's been, it's, th it's thought about, right? That's definitely the number one most asked yeah, for. That would be, uh, that and 10 or 45 would be mm -hmm. nice. You know, I like this gun, it's definitely compact. That mechanism is good and uh, I, I've seen it shoot pretty well suppressed. I mean, it's nine millimeter, it does, it does what it needs to do. Yeah, right after we get back and from the show. And you listen to people, you yeah. know what I mean? Listen, okay. optic was one of the main issues fixed. Right when okay. we get back from this, I got one coming out to you, so. Okay, for sure, so he's here, coming soon, coming soon. But you had something on the table that was wicked. Um, yes. This is still uh, very big, but this is just something that, everybody's been asking for this from you guys, kind of in a way, like seeing something like this. So this is actually not even anything we did. Yeah. So this is our CP33, a lot of you know. Had it out for years now, 33 round, 22 long rifle. But just released this week, Ferrotech came out with their like MP7 kit for it. Okay. So as you can see, full aluminum uh, monolithic upper right there. You have your, it'll have a top uh, upper body, your lower grip that has M-lock slots all over it. Comes with the extended magazines that make them into 50 round mags. <laughs> and you have your brace on this one, but they also have a stock option if you want to SVR yeah. it. It's collapsible. So you can pull it in, easy to stow, still have your threaded barrel if you want to throw your can, any kind of comps or anything like that on, pulls out, easy, ready to rock. 22, so you can shoot this all day. You ain't got to worry about spending a dollar every single round. And the fact that you guys are playing with it means that y'all y'all are pretty confident in it because it's not oh, yeah. Feral Tech, and they make good stuff. I got some of their plates for like my Beretta, so they mm -hmm. make some really good stuff. And uh, so are these available now too? Yeah, they just start shipping this week. Wow. I believe they're up on their website already. Well, you might. I think he told me <laughs> MSRP is right around 300. I've so. been already like going to get it to do that, like that poor man, my poor man mm -hmm. MP7, but this is through a little bit more spice on it. It just gives it more chunk. And then also you got some more real estate. Mm -hmm. Really nice overall. Bet. Oh, I appreciate you, Chris, man. Thank, Thank you, man. you, man. Yes, appreciate it. And uh, come through Caltech. 
uh, y'all are based out of Florida, right? Where part of Florida exactly? Cocoa Beach Cocoa area, Beach. Okay. right? Just a little Excuse bit north of the or to the west of that, but okay, yeah, good company. Um, my well, my second shotgun was from you guys. My first one was like a damn hunting rifle, but KSG 12 <laughs> gauge was my go-to, my bullpup, and uh, it's always been good. You guys have been killing it in the shotgun game, but seeing y'all come out and do different things with nine millimeter, 22, also awesome, and the five seven. Uh, what was what's the name of that one? The five seven one. So we had the P fifty, which is the pistol. Yeah. The R fifty, which is the rifle, and now we just also Defender. released the Defender, Defender which is yeah. the P fifty with the rifle stock. Yeah. On it. Okay. Yeah. Definitely another one to check out as well. And that one was in Call of Duty recently. <laughs> was it? Yeah, it was in Call of Duty. Oh, I didn't even know. Yeah, I think it was in the last Call of Duty. That one. So yeah, yeah. it's pretty cool. So there's a company called Rev Arms and Custom Smith Manufacturing. They both make nineteen thirteen months back. So I have on my P fifty, I have one SBR, then I have one that's braced. Okay. And it's pretty cool putting the side folding stock yeah on it, so. i well, i saw you you had your video mm -hmm. that's why i saw you uh, out there shooting it on your ig mm -hmm. so definitely one I, I i would like to see that one out with a stock at the end of the day i don't i mean i'm pretty sure there's, it's not exist to recoil right oh yeah, yeah nine. five seven yeah so i appreciate you once again man yeah, thank man. you man yep stay tuned you'll see this you know very soon on the channel and uh it's out it's out now finally officially <laughs>